Hi lovely Pisces, July is a very intense month. There are two eclipses, Mars is moving backwards. Everybody and anybody can do with a little bit of Pisces energy. We need compassion, we need love, we need spirituality this month and you've got it all and you're able to provide that to your loved ones this month. That's just what this month is about. It's a cancer month which means that we are spending time with our loved ones and taking care of them and maybe a new romance comes in. Let's see how it pans out for you. On 12th of July, there is a new moon solar eclipse at 20 degree cancer in your love house, in your fifth house of everything that you love and creativity. When a new moon is there, sun and moon come together to create something new in our life. And for you, it creates the new way of achieving happiness. It 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 tells you what are you not doing, what's holding you back from getting that happiness that you deserve. It's about taking a risk, maybe striking out on a new creative path or a new relationship or redefining your existing romance. Whatever you're doing in this month on this transit will be transformative and it will transform both your love life and maybe affect the social circle that you hang out with as well it it is the first eclipse in cancer and this would pan out for the next two years so your creativity love and your time spent with the children will undergo transformation over the next two years this is just the first glimpse um, in a series of what's going to happen in coming months and it's a week of solar eclipse it's only valid for a month but you should receive the first message maybe of entrance of a new loved one because this is not coming alone this eclipse is coming with a grand water trine and you are a water sign Pisces so when there is a energy a positive energy flow between the water uh, signs you benefit from that and to top it up this energy flow is between your rulers so sun jupiter and neptune are coming together in water signs cancer scorpio and pisces affecting you directly and bringing positive healing to your love life they are also bringing creative intuition if you are in any creative field oh you you should watch out for your dreams during this time you should watch out for your uh, intuition this month you will get sudden downloads of ideas and um, an inspiration to do something that you would love going forward in future jupiter will also go direct in your ninth house on 10th of july jupiter is your ruler it's your historic ruler so something material has to manifest when jupiter goes direct jupiter will be direct in your ninth house um, till november ninth house it's it's the home of jupiter so it's a very lucky period it's start of a very lucky period for you where travel uh, works out for you uh, spirituality works for you, works out for you maybe it's it's an energy of finding or being a spiritual guru maybe you find a teacher maybe you find a new education that you want to go after and jupiter will help you get the certification for that if you're doing any business with the foreigners that would work out positive for you as well during this period if you're looking for publishing or book writing this jupiter going direct in this house uh, works positive for that as well if there are any legal matters the settlement of that um, any in-laws of any sort this transit helps with the laws uh, it eases the stress plus it's your traditional ruler so there is a phys physical manifestation that comes in just one thing to keep in mind i mean this is a very feel good um, feel good transit just make sure that you work keeping the benefit of all the people together when you're working on this transit because neptune is in the first house neptune is your new ruler and it's your it's it's currently in your first sign so karma finds you if you have if you're just being selfish and because this is a lucky period right it's easy sometimes to get just thinking about yourself if you don't think about the greater good um, and you don't think about how you're affecting other people the karma could find you during during this cycle as well also just stay away from any 
over promising that might be happening in your love life uh, delusions are possible neptune has gone retrograde that's a good thing um in the department of delusions and getting cheated by people but just be on the lookout when these planet neptune is in your first house and it's uh transiting your it's um throwing a transit to your love life you don't want to get into an idealistic situation just keep both your eyes open when you're entering into any re- new relationships during this time this is uh not all because there is a second grand trine and that's a that's an earth signs and it initiates from 9th of july and continues till 16th of july where venus the planet of love which is sitting in your close partnerships your marriage one on one relationship business partnerships is coming in positive energy with saturn and uranus Uranus is currently in your third house there are like sudden downloads of information if you're looking to acquire a new skill set this is an excellent time to work on that because you'll get some sudden downloads it's like you're trying to learn a skill for a longest time and it was held back and this transit just unlocks something and you get a full download of that um also this is something that will be long term for you because saturn saturn is involved in it so whatever new business partnership or new information or a new skill set you're acquiring during this time it will be for your longer term and um, the other ways that venus saturn and uranus could play out in this way is meeting a loved one at work or in your colleagues he's a, he or she is a colleague of yours or you might meet them on a short travel and this love relationship or this meeting could convert into a long term stable relationship for you this is a gift of partnership or relationship also it's uh, if you have say you find a client for self made for wealth and that client becomes your beneficiary for a long term that's another way these three planets and these houses could pan out um, in reality for you a long term friend could become a business partner uh, it's about commitment and loyalty it's um uh, it's a positive change in life but if you try something new during this time it might turn out to be for your good um it, this this is first half of the month second half of the month is more going inwards you're mo- moving more um towards your 12th house because there is a full moon to- total eclipse in 4 degree aquarius on 27th of july in your 12th house this is a uh, eclipse which is the longest eclipse of the century it's called the blood moon solar eclipse uh, lunar eclipse sorry so uh, people get terrified by that but it's in your 12th house it's squaring uranus yes some sudden changes it's conjunct mars yes some frustration so it won't be an easy transition but this eclipse already in july would be forcing you to relook at your inner life as i said your happiness is in question right now what's holding you back and when there is a light thrown on your 12th house the light is also thrown on your wounds and there is mars already at work in that house so mars is already bringing out some past hurt things how are you self sabotaging yourself how's your spirituality um how's your spiritual health uh pisces by default as a spiritual sign but i don't want to dive cast you but whichever whatever the spirituality or your inner self works uh, stands for you whether it's in form of uh, religion or it's in form of just taking care of your emotional health all of that will be coming to light and that transit is always to work work for your betterment right so it's trying to get you to be more healthy in that area are you taking care of yourself are you taking enough rest are you giving your me- your mental energy a rest as well or are you pushing 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 this can be a very um very unsettling time as well it's when mars is in 12th house 12th house is supposed to be all about rest and mars is all about drive drive push 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 your dream life your sleep 
could become disturbed and dream life could become really vivid i was telling you earlier as well your intuition is high and your dream life is really enriched this month i if there was a time to keep a dream journal it would be this month uh, you should watch out for what your dreams are telling you so give yourself a break when that happens it's a great time to take a break away from everything uh, all the maddening energy most of the uh, energies that i've spoken to you about this month for you pisces is away from work uh, eclipses are very intense for you you are a water sign you were, you are affected uh, by lunar activities and this month's lunar activities are not easy Um, though they are in trine with you in positive energy with you but take a step back something that is hidden might come to light maybe a relationship that is hidden might come to light a secret might come to light because full moon is about sun throwing its full energy on a on a hidden house of yours it could also be it's also a culmination energy so maybe a hidden project that you've been working on um might come to fruition a relationship that you've been working on privately might come to fruition a health issue that you've been working on behind the scene might come to a positive outcome as well the energy of this eclipse and the way it pans out will be valid for the next 6 months so while you'll get the intensity in the coming few weeks the actual pan out of this and resolution of this would take the next 6 months so it it's it's not that you're going inward for the next 6 months it's just that it's the last transit in this um in this sign so this is the last eclipse in aquarius for a really long time so you want to clear out whatever you need to clear out if there's any karma clearance you need you want to get rid of some karma as i told you neptune is in first house karma will get to you so if there's anything that you feel you have done which is not what you should have done it's the time to let it go make it okay move on from there move to the better life move to the light because from the from january onwards the next two years will be all focused around your social life so from being behind the scene you'll suddenly come to in front of the scene so take care of yourself get whatever help you need during this time your loved ones are uh, going to be there to support you more importantly you are a healer to other people this month i look forward to having my pisces friends uh, with me this month good luck and do tell me how it went for you thank you <music>